Just two weeks ago, we had Notcoin that launched as a new token on Binance. And today, I want to talk to you about IO. IO.net is about to launch in the next two and a half days. So by the time you see this video, please make sure that you follow the instructions very quickly because there's a new launch pool. In this video, I will explain to you what a launch pool is and what this new token is and the economics around it and how to be able to participate so that you can get some free IO tokens. I already have some, I'll show you later in the video. Let's get those credits rolling. Binance Launch Pool is a way for you to be able to get access to new tokens. How does it work? A new project usually wants to get a community around it before it launches on the platform and they give rewards to the early adopters. On the Binance launch pool, there have been over 50 projects that have already been launched so far to various successes. Usually they launch between $300 million and almost a billion dollars every time they come onto the platform. And this can be a way for you to be able to get free tokens and make some money. In previous ones, we've made about $28, $80, depending on the amount that you've actually put in. And this can be a good way of making use of the tokens you already have on the Binance platform to make you some more tokens. On Binance launch pool, you're able to get every single hour a piece of a token or full tokens depending on how much you've been able to put in. And I want to show you the newest token that is about to launch on Binance Launchpool. It's called IO Token. And I'll go to the announcement so that we go through it a little and then I'll show you how you can be able to participate. Binance is a fast platform that will be listing this token on the 11th of June and io.net is the 55th project on Binance launch pool. It will be listed on the 11th and it will have stroke BTC, USDT, BNB, FDUSD, TRY trading pairs and at the start it will be 500 million IO and the maximum is 800 million IO. In the launch pool 4% of the total tokens will be given out, which is 20 million IO. And initial circulating supply will be 95 million IO. So from the estimates that I have been doing so far, if we estimate around 500 million and we have 95 million that will be in circulation, this can get to about five dollars a piece it can be between three and seven dollars it depends because whenever tokens launch on the platform they are extremely volatile so i usually give that range between three dollars and about seven dollars it's launching on solana and you can be able to participate by either staking bnb or staking fdusd I will show you both and I'll also show you the minimum that you can do so that you can participate on the same. And here I will be able to show you even the minimum that you can be able to stake because I've seen that is a question that people have asked in other videos and so I want to answer it here. So the first thing that we will do is we need FDUSD and we need BNB. That is what we'll buy next. So at the bottom here, we are currently at Spot Wallet. So I'll click on Trade. And then at the top here, I'll click on Convert. And now I want to be able to turn it to FDUSD and the other half turn it into BNB. Here under 2, I'll click on BNB. And I want 50 USDT and Preview Conversion, Convert. That's complete. Then I'll just go back and then where it says BNB, put FDUSD and then the rest, turn it into FDUSD. And then I'll click on Convert. So that's completed. Now I'll go back to my spot wallet, just refresh this and you can actually see now I have FDUSD and I also have some BNB. Then I'll go back to home and where it says new listings, at the middle here, you have favorite, hot, gainers, losers, and then new listings. Remember I've said this in other videos, I like keeping it under new listings so that when I come to my homepage, I always know when there's a new launch pool that is happening. Under launch pool here, I'll just click on launch pool. 
and you will notice that I already have some pending harvest and a BNB pool. This happens because of locked BNB. Remember, in a mega drop, you get access to every single mega drop if you have locked BNB. And that locked BNB is earning me an interest because it is in the earn wallet. It is also earning me some tokens on the mega drop that we talked about in the previous video. And it is actually earning me as well some IO tokens right here. And I don't have to do anything else. And it goes without saying that locking BNB has so many benefits attached to it. I'm earning in three ways, like I've just mentioned. I'm earning in mega drop, I'll earn in launch pool, and I'm also earning because it is locked in the earn wallet. And that is what is here and we'll claim it a little later. But for now, let's actually stake what we have just bought or whatever is in your spot wallet. So if you already had some FDSD or USDT in your earn wallet, you can bring it to the spot wallet, convert it to the eligible tokens and then do this particular step. So we'll go under FDSD and I'll click on stake here. And now I can be able to stake either BNB or FDSD and I'll actually show you the minimums. So under BNB, I'll click on BNB pool, click on stake, and you can actually be able to do 0.01 BNB. One BNB right now is around $600. So 0.01 BNB is around $6 worth of BNB. So that answers your question if you're asking the minimum. In BNB, it's 0.01 BNB. For myself, I'll actually just click on the max here and click on stake. Then I'll close that because it's successfully staked and you'll actually be able to see the stake here at 0.075. I have already earned a 0.04 and there is 0.0016 unclaimed, which you'll claim in a minute. Then now I come under FDUSD and I click on stake here and the same thing with FDUS with, with BNB you can be able to do 0.01 FDUSD, which comes to around a shilling, okay? Then I'll come and click on max, click on stake. Successfully stake the FDUSD. Please note that the more you stake on the launch pool, the more potentially you can earn in terms of the token. When the token launches right now, we have about 2 billion in FDSD of about 18 million in BNB. That comes to around almost eight, nine billion dollars that has been staked here. So the more you stake, the more you can be able to receive. There is another thing that happens when this launch pool farming ends. Right now we have about here two days, 17 and a half hours remaining. So when this timer goes to zero, there are two things that happen. One, all the amount that you had staked in BNB and FDSD is taken back to your spot wallet. And all the tokens that are unclaimed here go straight to your spot wallet. You don't have to do anything else before this token launches in terms of trying to move the money from the launch pool to the spot wallet. That is done automatically. And that will happen on the 11th. When it happens on the 11th that this farming has ended, there is usually a period of time before the token launches. So this one will end at around 3 a.m. our time and I just need to check when exactly it is launching. So it launches on the 11th at 12 UTC. That means that it will be launching on the 11th 3 p.m. Kenyan time. At 1 p.m. is when this token will arrive back again on this page where it says new listings. I hope we are together there. After this two days and 17 hours, so 17 hours right now is around 3 a.m. So 3 a.m. on 11th, it will disappear from this page. And then at 1 p.m. on the 11th, it will reappear again here, but it will appear differently. It will show you the time before trading happens. So when you click on it, it will show something similar to what you're seeing on NOT, but instead of a chart like this one, in place of it, you will see trading starts in this time. And it counts down from two hours until it launches. When it launches is when you will start seeing the trading candles. The easiest thing to be able to do what I do myself is I come under sell 
and I actually put market depending on where it is or I put limit to be able to set a particular time and I set the number that I want to sell if I have a hundred and then I can put my order there. Or when it has started and it has gone for a few minutes, you can be able to come under convert. So you'll click on trade, then convert, and then you'll be able to pick up the token itself. And here the token is IO. Of course, it's not showing up here because it is not yet there. So I can pick up IO and then convert it to USDT or FDSD or BNB, whatever it is that I will be needing at that time. That is a simple way on how you can be able to get access to the IO token that is about to launch on Binance Launchpool. Now I have other tutorials on Binance which are on the playlist that is showing up here that you can go and watch and learn about different other features that the Binance platform has and I'll see you in the next one.